Hello, welcome to the project deployment tutorial for EcoStructure Energy Hub. In this second chapter, Deployment of Energy Hub, we will see how to deploy an energy hub system from site to organization level. In this topic, Energy Hub Basic Setup, we will learn how to log in, create organization, and register your panel server in EcoStructure Energy Hub. Before getting started, first, Please make sure your gateway at site is connected to devices and configured and cloud connection is enabled. Please watch the video on panel server configuration for Energy Hub for more details. Second, please ensure you have received a subscription activation email for Energy Hub Advanced or Plus Advanced plan. Third, get a Schneider Electric ID to log into Energy Hub. A Schneider Electric ID is the account you use to log in to all Schneider services, including Energy Hub. Let's see how to get a Schneider Electric ID, in case you don't have one. If you have completed your initial subscription purchase, please click the Activate Modules in Energy Hub Now link provided in the activation email. You will reach the Energy Hub login page. Click Register or continue with the suitable login options like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google or Apple IDs. Fill your credentials. Make sure to set your new password, as per the mentioned password policy. Next. Select the appropriate options. Click Register. Fill the verification code from the registration mail you received. EcoStructure Energy Hub login is successful. Next, let's create an organization. An organization in Energy Hub is a logical entity that represents your business. You set up an organization to model your facilities, energy networks, and usage types. Click Create Organization. Provide name and country. Here, the organization is an international university based in India, having campuses around the globe. Accept the terms of use and click Next to add a site. A site is a facility or location with a common electrical system, with a street address. Give site name and address. You can later modify these if needed. This first site we are creating is the Bangalore campus of the university. You can jump to system setup, user management, or module activation from here or skip to do it later. Here you can edit the organization details and energy mode and go to setup, organization settings to set the relevant details. You can set the currency and units as regional defaults or select as required. Now let's add regions and sites. Go to Setup, System Setup. In the Configuration panel, you can see the organization you just created along with the site. A region is a large geographical area, like a state, province, or country depends on your organization structure. For adding a region, either you can click Add Region or simply drag and drop it to the organization. Adding region is optional, and you can associate the site directly to the organization if needed. Give name and other details. You can drag and drop the site to the region to create a hierarchy. If you have not created a site yet, then you can click Add Site or drag and drop it to the region. Fill the required details. Floor area, location, electricity rate and rates for water and gas wherever applicable need to be set.
Next, let's add the gateway to the respective site. Click Configure Site. In the View Selector, click Communications. Add Gateway to the site. Enter the serial number of the respective gateway. It will show the details of the gateway along with the devices associated with it. Click Next to add. In the configuration panel, the gateway will be visible along with the connected devices. Your gateway is successfully added to the site. Now let's activate the Energy Hub subscription you have purchased earlier. Go to Setup, Modules, click Activate Subscription. Enter the activation code found in the email you received upon purchasing your Energy Hub subscription. Click Submit. Details of the module, bundle, or plan is shown for your confirmation. Click Activate to add the subscription to your organization. Energy Hub plus Advanced Subscription is successfully added. As the subscription is activated, various functionalities included with it will be activated immediately. Now let's see User Management. Go to Setup. User Preferences to set the language and date formats. Next, go to Users. In the tab Selector Users, you can find the current users of the organization. Click on the Roles tab to show you the various types of roles and their respective permissions levels you can assign to the users. In this, admin role has the full permissions. Click on Access tab to help you manage the access level of the user to the complete organization or part of it. Default access is for entire organization. In a multi-site organization, if you want to assign a user access to only a particular site or region, you can create custom access permissions. Click Create New Access Permissions. Give name and description. Provide the site or region you want to give access and save. In the user privileges, you can assign these new access permissions to the user to take effect. For adding new users to your organization, go to Invitations tab and click Invite Users. Enter their email, role and access assigned. You can also modify these privileges later from the User tab. Click Send Invitations. The users will show as pending until the invitation is accepted. For accepting the invite, the user needs to go to the email invitation and click Join Now. Users will be redirected to the Energy Hub login page where they can either sign in using their existing Schneider Electric ID or register if they don't have one. Fill in the details. Accept the terms of use and click Get Started. The new user is successfully added to your organization. Thanks for watching this video. Please watch the next videos in the project deployment series to easily deploy your EcoStructure Energy Hub system. Thank you.